You mentioned also that culture has a factor here in asking for what we need and, and uh, inhibits perhaps us asking. Could yes. you talk a little bit about that? I think culture is huge. I think there's gender issues there. Men typically are willing to ask for more right. without well, apology. Right, a bit of research on that these days. A lot, quite a bit of research. Mm -hmm. Women are, for some reason, a little more passive, a little more risk averse mm -hmm. in that sense. And again, I think doing research really, really helps, especially women know, I mean, know what's out there and know what the guys are getting and shoot for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't shoot, shoot for, for a where little, the, little bit more than that, please. <laughs> even a little bit, yeah. Yeah, shoot over the goal, not under the goal, and certainly not at the goal. So I think in getting to that kind of understanding that these core emotions you have and these vulnerabilities are actually what connect people. That it, when you're not vulnerable, if you, don't, if you can't admit that kind of coming on camera makes you a little nervous, then you're hiding something. Then you're going to be more stressed, up, stressed out and people can't connect with you. So if you can just say, Jesus, I'm, this is a little tense for me. Uh, it's like the other person says, yeah. I mean, they, they tend to want to offer you comfort, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not, and you're trying to hide it, you're kind of all clenched up, yep. yeah, arms crossed, <laughs> you're kind of unapproachable. So it's going to be really hard for anybody to connect. Yeah. So you need to go in, and I'm a strong believer in meditation. I know that it helps me control my thinking that can go all kinds of ways. So whether it's yoga or meditation, do it. It'll make you a better creator. It'll make you a better person. It'll make you a better partner, even with your, in a, your personal life. Because it's important to have that sense of being yourself and that whatever those quirks you have are, and everybody has them, it's part of owning them, it's part of your vulnerability, which is what intimacy is. Intimacy is knowing another's deepest nature. So while you're probably not there to develop an intimate relationship with your boss in quite that way, you are there to develop a connection. And that connection will probably determine whether you get the job or not, and how much they're willing to pay you. And that's where, again, I think some things like role playing, if you have a friend or a partner you can role play with, so that you can laugh at, at things that you maybe don't understand, uh, or smile and say, you know, I really don't know how to answer that question. Can you ask me a different way? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's endearing. Mm -hmm. It's not off-putting. It's actually, it, it wants, it draws the person closer. Right. They want to help you. Right. Rather than push you off. Push you off or get into that sort of enemy stance, which puts us in back to fight, flight, freeze, and surrender. Mm -hmm. And nobody's going to connect with us when we're doing those little moves. Right. 